Hello everyone, it's Kaden Weather here. Today we're going to be talking about lots of snowy areas in the United States either happening today or in the next few days along this week. So all these circled areas you see on the screen, Oklahoma, Texas, Kansas, Colorado, uh, New Mexico, Nevada, California, Idaho, Montana, Maine, Alaska. If you just heard your state called right there, you and Michigan, especially Michigan. If you could hear your state called, you guys are under, are under weather alerts right now or you're expected to get um, some type of uh, winter activity or winter weather. We're going to be seeing lots of snow possible. I have a lot to explain in today's video. I'm going to try and make it as quick as possible so you guys can get your weather information fast. But we're also going to be seeing a big uh, low pressure system coming in for the east. I'll be talking about all about this snow, uh, future snowfall totals. We're going to be talking about the timing, so future model, and temperatures. But first, I want to thank you guys so much for all the support we're getting. I checked the past three days on my phone. I got lots of notifications about a uh, new subscriber, and uh, I got uh, some comments. I love your weather content. That means so much to me. We're at 76 subscribers right now. We're about to reach 80 subscribers. Now, I'm gonna do. I want to do something really special at 80 subscribers. But I want you guys to pick because you guys are the one that got me to these subscribers uh, amount. So I want you guys to pick. So comment down below what you think we should do special at 80 subscribers. Now, I have a lot to explain, so check the description for timestamps. Let's get into it, because I have a lot to explain. Now, let's look one example on temperatures. So again, just one example of the temperature change that's going to drop. We look into the south, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi. We're seeing lower 70s and upper 60s, so as you can see right now. So again, that's okay, you know, that's actually almost a perfect temperature, you know, it's really good. But then we see a temperature drop. Look how much it drops. Again, it's not like it's super, it's not definitely, it's definitely not super cold, but it's a big drop from what we just had. It dropped from uh, 70s to 50s, mid 50s and lower 50s. It dropped to that much here in the south. So we're going to be seeing temperature drops like that. Lots of other places in the United States. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but let's get to one, what everyone wants to know. The snow. Now, notice in the corner of your screen right now, it says Friday. That's the day that this model came out. Uh, or, sorry, not came out, but this model is showing. Now, let's time this out. We start with this one low pressure system here that I talked about in my previous video. Again, bringing lots of snow to Chicago. Uh, n new models here showing uh, parts of uh, Iowa, uh, parts of Nebraska included in all of this. Uh, as you can see, moves up into parts of Michigan. Michigan, you guys are the big, you guys are one of the biggest parts of this, as you can see here. Uh, biggest part of this low pressure system here. And you see, moves up, that's by Saturday, and then Sunday. So that's just one thing, we're not even close to done. We see another thing here, Sunday, forming the mountains of Colorado, New Mexico, where it gets cold enough to form snow, and it, but it moves east into Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas. And you see, we're seeing western Oklahoma, seeing lots of snow. This is close to my area in Oklahoma. And you see, we're seeing snow in western Oklahoma, and Oklahoma City, Tulsa, you guys are all included in getting the snow. It depends on where you are, and maybe even Wichita, Kansas, but you guys are kind of on the edge. But definitely Dodge City, Kansas, and even Amarillo, Texas, you guys are also possible at getting this. Now, let's time this out to the future. As you see, even just later Sunday, it's going to happen all really fast. We're seeing it move into more uh, eastern Oklahoma, and... Texas and Kansas kind of getting uh, mostly in Oklahoma now, but then we move it even uh, further. It turns into a uh, storm. So Louisiana, uh, if you're watching Louisiana, Missouri, I'm um, sorry, not Missouri, Mississippi, and Alabama on Monday, expect storms. Expect a lot of storms that day. Again, depends on where you are, of course, but expect storms on Monday if you live in the south. Then it's still bringing some storms. Then it brings some more snow in those mountainous areas. And it moves off. Now, yes, that was a lot. Uh, again, that was only two pr low pressure systems bringing really heavy snow. Then we have this one huge one coming in next week on Wednesday. It's like, ooh, I'm going to bring a lot of snow. So, uh, blizzard, possible blizzard conditions is what it's going to bring. So, Virginia. Virginia, you guys are on the set, um, especially, well, yeah. Virginia, and then it's going to bring possible to that, and it's going to move into more uh, Pennsylvania, Delaware, all possible to see the blizzard conditions next week. Wednesday, let's go into Thursday. This low pressure system bringing lots of snow. Wednesday, of, Thursday, of, sorry, Thursday of next week. This is going to bring lots of snow. Delaware, uh, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, possibly seeing blizzard conditions. So, again, lots to take in here. And then moves into the Atlantic Ocean. Finally get a break. Still seeing some snow in some spotty areas here, but again, just a little bit of a break. That's a lot to take in. We had a lot of things going on. Now, I showed you the location. I showed you who's going to get snow, when we're going to get snow. 
let's look at snowfall totals to end off today's video. Now, as you can see here, we're seeing snowfall totals. Now, this is the 24-hour snowfall totals, so we may not see this much happen. We could see uh, this change. We could see this happen because this is if it's on the ground for 24 hours, this is how much snow. So, again, see, I told you Mid Central, especially Central Michigan, is going to get a lot uh, at the most of this uh, snowfall, and it is see a uh, 13 inches of snow possible in parts of Michigan, and again Chicago for up to four inches. You're kind of getting a little bit less snow than we expected, but still expect snow. Now let's time this out even more. Um, as you see, that's just one of them. Sorry, I'm taking a while in this video. I have a lot to explain. As you see, we start to see this uh, lots of snow forming in Colorado. It's snow, 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 snow. We're seeing lots of snow coming possible. So again up to three two inches of snow here in Colorado not just but then it moves into Oklahoma we're seeing up to five inches again it's not a lot of snow but again uh, we're having snow so again then it moves again it, mo it moved into a lo uh, more storms instead of snow so we're not seeing snowfall totals then we see it moved on but then we see this again like I said blizzard conditions possible we're seeing up to 19 inches that's a big change from what we just saw so again I'll be making a video on this sometime in the future but again of a blizzard conditions possible later next week, up to 19 inches, as the models say right now. <sighs> Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, that was a lot to explain about snow. So again, snow, 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 snow. Comment down below. This is why I have the comment section. If you're guys confused because I just talked about a lot of areas, you want to know your specific area, like just comment your state or something. I can get uh, snowfall amounts for your state. But again. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. If you like other videos, subscribe to support the channel. Uh, thank you guys so much for the uh, support I've had right now. Comment down below. Again, I'll answer your questions if I can. Stay safe. Stay weather aware. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.